Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday, and welcome to our vocational preparation lesson. Today, we're going to continue our discussion on grocery store careers, and um, we're going to be focusing on the careers of cashier and manager in particular. So last week, as you remember, we discussed grocery shelf stockers, and we discussed grocery baggers. So now we're moving on to other higher order positions. Just to review some basic work of vocabulary, employer, it's the person that you work for, the person or company. In this case, it's a grocery store. An employee is a person who has a job and works at a given location, the grocery store. Your schedule includes the days and hours that you will arrive to work. And the hourly wage is the amount of money that you make each hour that you were on schedule, that you are working, okay? So those are really important terms to just get acclimated and used to. Awesome, so a cashier, as you can see in this picture, the woman in blue is the cashier. She's behind the checkout stand. She is going to scan his items. So the basics of what a cashier person is, it's someone whose job it is to scan all of a customer's chosen items and handle cash transactions during the checkout process. Again, the checkout stand is where customers go to pay for their purchase. Can't just walk out of the store, they gotta go through you first, all right, if you're the cashier. So the gentleman with the blue apron on is a cashier. He is handing the woman her receipt, which is a um, paper document that contains all of the items that she bought, the total cost, and how much she paid. It's her proof of purchase. So if she needed to return something, she would come back with the receipt and the item that she wanted to return or give back. Some requirements of the cashier position. It's actually a lot. In order to be a cashier, you have to be able to multitask, in particular, you need to be able to handle and organize money in the register and to be able to provide change back to customers. Now, not everyone is going to be using cash. Some people are going to pay with their credit or debit card or food stamps. In this case, they will present it to you. They will scan their credit or debit card or their um, food uh, stamp card and they are going to input their information. On your end, on the register, you're going to approve the transaction and make sure that they're being charged the correct amount, okay? So you have to be able to work the cash register, the monitor, which is a computer that documents all of the things that you scanned, and you have to be able to give money back to a customer. So again, this is a higher order position because it requires a lot more of people, okay? You need to be able to handle returns and coupons. If somebody wants to return something, they might talk to you first, okay? And so you need to know how to be able to handle that situation, whether it's directing them to your returns department or actually handling the return yourself and giving them money or a different item if they wanna do an exchange. You need to be able to scan coupons and make sure that the coupons are not expired, they are active coupons, so that customers pay the correct amount and they get the discount that they deserve in the event that their coupon is valid or good. You need to be able to scan an item's barcode in order for the item to be purchased. So above the register, um, you're gonna see a monitor and it'll tell you the item that you've scanned, so you take the item, you find the barcode on it, and you need to run it against the bottom part of the register, which has a red laser. You scan it through that, and that is how the um, register documents what the customer is paying for. And above all else, you need to have really good customer service skills. You need to be able to talk to customers in a friendly and professional manner. So knowing how to have small talk, knowing how to use your nonverbal communication skills, right? Your smiling, your body's spatial orientation to make the customer feel welcomed, to make the customer feel comfortable, all right? So you might ask them, how's your day going? While you're scanning the item and making sure that it's getting bagged appropriately. 
So there's there's quite a few steps to being a cashier. Um, in order to ca be a cashier, you'll probably have to go through a more rigorous or a more demanding um, job interview where they're going to ask you these questions. Do you know your money? Can you provide change? They might even have you do a practice simulation where they want to watch you in action doing all of the requirements of a cashier to make sure that you're the right fit for the job. Okay, so that's for a cashier. A lot of stuff going on. I know. Now, a grocery store manager. This is the head honcho. This is someone whose job it is to oversee the basic operations of a grocery store, purchasing needed items, handling customer service, ensuring the store is clean, among other duties. And they make sure every worker is performing their duties, their job correctly. So if you're the manager, you are the boss. You are the person that other people answer to and you make sure that the store is running smoothly, that everything is going well. So you might be able to recognize the manager. He might be wearing a slightly different uniform from other people, right? In this case, this man has a very professional uniform on. He's got his button down shirt, he has a tie, dress pants, his belt, and he's got typically a name tag that will say their name and then manager. So you know exactly who it is, who is the manager. Some requirements of grocery store managers, among others, because there's quite a few requirements. You need to be able to work well and get along with others in a supervisory role. That means you can't just be friends with your workers. You need to be able to be polite and professional. Make sure that they know that you are in charge and that your job is to supervise them to make sure that they are doing their own jobs to the best of their ability. Managers also approve and oversee budget issues, purchasing issues for grocery items, customer service relations. If a customer is upset with, let's say, a cashier or a shelf stalker or a bagger, sometimes their complaint will go up to the manager and it's up to the manager to decide how to handle that situation. They're also in charge of quality control, making sure everything is good and clean and where it needs to be at. A manager oversees staff schedules to make sure all needed positions are filled, to make sure that someone is there every day doing the job that needs to be done, okay? So they have to make sure they have ample workers. They typically create the schedules so that everyone knows when they're supposed to show up to their job. And one of the more important aspects is they provide feedback for staff on their job performance. So you might have an evaluation from a manager where the manager watches you as you perform your job duties. Afterwards, the manager will debrief with you and tell you how you performed, okay? Did you meet all of the expectations of your job title? How well did you meet the expectations? Did you perform particularly well in certain areas? Or what areas of growth could you focus on so that you're a stronger employee, a stronger asset to the grocery store? So that's just a brief overview of what a cashier and a grocery store manager do. Like I said, there's a lot more to it than what I've mentioned. And if and when you get hired for these positions, you will find that out very quickly, okay? So you just need to be able to multitask, to stay cool and calm under pressure, and to know what your job duties are and be able to fulfill them, all right? I hope you guys have a great Wednesday. Good luck with your Google Classroom assignment, and I will see you in class. Thank you.